Hi everybody, it's Mrs Everett's turn to read a lovely story for Storytime Tuesday this week and I've chosen Five Minutes Peace. It was written by Jill Murphy and Jill Murphy also uh, drew the pictures and the publishers Walker Books and Penguin Books uh, published the book. So we'd like to say a big thank you to them and I'm so looking forward to reading you a story. So have a little wriggle, get comfy and listen to this week's story, Five Minutes Peace. Five Minutes Peace. The children were having breakfast. This was not a pleasant sight. Mrs Large took a tray from the cupboard. She set it with a teapot, a milk jug, her favourite cup and saucer, a plate of marmalade toast and a leftover cake from yesterday. She stuffed the morning paper into her pocket and sneaked off towards the door. Shh. Where are you going with that tray, Mum? asked Laura. To the bathroom, said Mrs Large. Why? asked the other two children. Because I would like five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs Large. That's why. Can we come? asked Lester as they trailed up the stairs behind her. No, said Mrs Large. You can't. What shall we do then? asked Laura. You can play, said Mrs Large. Downstairs by yourselves and keep your eye on the baby. I'm not a baby, muttered the little one. Mrs Large ran a deep, hot bath. She emptied half a bottle of bath foam into the water, plonked on her bath hat and got in. She poured herself a cup of tea and lay back, closed her eyes. It was heaven. Can I play you my tune? asked Lester. Mrs Large opened one eye. Must you? she asked. I've been practising, said Lester. You told me to. Can I, please, just for one minute? Go on then sighed Mrs Large. So Lester played. He played <coughs> Twinkle Twinkle Little Star three and a half times. In came Laura. Can I read you a page from my reading book? She asked. No, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on, all of you, off downstairs. You let Lester play his tune, said Laura. I heard. You like him better than me. It's not fair. Oh, don't be silly, Laura, said Mrs Large. Go on then, just one page. So Laura read, 
she read four and a half pages of Little Red Riding Hood. In came the little one with a trunk full of toys. For you, he beamed, flinging them all into the bath water. Thank you, dear, said Mrs. Large weakly. Can I see the cartoons in the paper? asked Laura. Can I have the cake? asked Lester. Can I get in with you? asked the little one. Mrs. Large groaned. <sighs> in the end, they all got in. The little one was in such a hurry that he forgot to take off his pyjamas. Mrs. Large got out. She dried herself, put on her dressing gown and headed for the door. Where are you going now, Mum? asked Laura. To the kitchen, said Mrs. Large. Why? asked Lester. Because I would like five minutes peace from you lot, said Mrs. Large. That's why. And off she went, downstairs, where she had three minutes and 45 seconds of peace before they all came to join her. That was Five Minutes Peace by the wonderful Jill Murphy, published by Walker Books and Penguin Books. I'm off for three minutes and 45 seconds peace in a minute. I'm sure you could do that for your grown-ups too. Check out the links for the other books that Jill Murphy's written. But for now, I wonder who will be here next time on Storytime Tuesday. Bye for now.